Good evening and welcome back to another episode of Wise Words With. We've got everybody here with us today. So it's a Wise Words With, with Eldad, Coinsola, Toby, and Dissier. <laughs> wow, what an what all-star cast. <laughs> We're going to be doing another question, Q&A. How do you say question and answering? Question and Q&A was all you had to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing another Q&A for you guys this evening. And we're going to try and get to know each other a little bit better. And then see if we can hit anything deep. No promises. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll start light. Okay. Well, how, let's start with how has everyone been? It's been a, like a week since we Fine. last had this. Only <laughs> about two days since Fine. we last saw each other. I think, who's going... Back to school? No one? Me, well. I'll be back to school next next week. Next week. Next Monday. Fair enough. Excited? Ooh. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, wow. A little bit. What about you? Uh, I'm already in school. Oh. Gosh, I hey. started, what was it? I started le no, last Monday, I think. How does that been for you? Um, year 11. So it's been, it's been all right so far. But, you know, we keep going. You have yeah, to. You, you have just to stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The grind never stops. Mm. What about you? When are you going back to school? I've got like a week and a half. Uh, fair okay. enough. I think I've got the same. Same. Yeah. I'm not in a hurry to be back, but when I'm back, I'll be happy. But I'm not. I'm really looking forward rushed. to going back. I don't know if that makes you <laughs> said, <laughs> said the multiple times. I'm looking forward <laughs> to going back. I miss school. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you never said that in secondary school. Yeah, no, no, That's no. no. But you say that. I always say that when I'm at home. But when I'm in school, I'm like, ah, it's not, it's not giving. Like, mm. Mm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not as interested. <laughs> okay. Our first question is: Do you have a pet peeve that makes you irrationally angry? Why? Like, what gets under your skin? Is it a pet peeve if it's irrational? Like, the anger is irrational. I feel like the anger will be justified. Well, we'll start with you then. What's I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, no, I'm just correcting the question. I don't Excuse know. Me. Pet peeve. Hmm. Can I give you guys an example while you think? Yeah. Yes. Not for me. I don't think I have a... I can't think of a pet peeve for myself. But one of my friends hates the sound of other people chewing. Yeah, oh. that's understandable. That's, that's understandable. That's, that's rational. To that. get irate... Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> okay, oh, wait. understand. Okay, wait, that's not fair. It gets on my nerves, but I'm not going to be angry with you. Mm. <laughs> a bit miffed. <laughs> a bit miffed. <laughs> a bit miffed. A bit. <laughs> you guys are just all patient, piece. constantly. Well, okay, I'm not perfect. Unbothered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't think of anything that gets me irrationally angry. If if, if something makes me angry, it's because I feel like it should. Okay, give me an example right of a rational anger. anger, any of you. Anyone at all. When, when I'm arguing with someone, and yeah. I know that the point I'm making is correct. That's rational. But they're still arguing with me. But that, that, that's like anyone, That's, that's 100% rational. Exactly, it's rational. That's the that's point everyone. I'm trying to make. That's yeah, as, that's everyone. Much of a pet peeve as I can think of. Some people do it just to get a rise out of you, though. Some people are happy to just that's keep... I do, I some, people that. some people are instigators. I've done that. Some people are instigators. <laughs> they are... Oh, I wouldn't have that. Personally. Okay, do you think you have any irrational fears? Yep. Get on. Um, <laughs> I can't even say. But every time I'm driving, I'm scared that I'll just like accidentally turn right when it's a straight road. <laughs> no, 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 I get that, I get that. Why actually. Am I, I get that sometimes. <laughs> I get that sometimes. It's like, I know I'm in control, <laughs> but am I? Uh, am I, am like, I really? There have been no problems this whole drive, but what if I just... It's just <laughs> like... That's, why, that's what keeps you extra careful while you're driving. Your <laughs> eyes are because, open like this. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you get a bit like, it's like, oh, I've done this route so many times. And then sometimes you have to stop, and then it's like, oh, yeah, okay. I still need to be careful. We're scaring you everyone guys are here. You putting me off driving. Yeah, no, no we're, we're, promise we're safe drivers. We are safe. Very <laughs> safe, very safe. <laughs> I used crash. to get that um, walk. I don't know if you ever had this, but walking on the road, and then like a bus comes, and you feel like you're leaning towards the bus. I don't think that's just your, um, your fault, though. I think what? the bus like actually no, wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, pulls wait, you wait. in a little <laughs> bit. Pull that back. Okay, good. Wait, what? No. You get, uh, is uh, it the just next us? question? <laughs> <laughs> what? Moving very swiftly. On. Never, maybe it's just like no, no. I I, the only thing I do is that I walk 
in front of the bus and tell me, tell it hit me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> dare you. I'm daring you. Thing is, though, I hate when people do that when I'm driving. <laughs> so when people walk in front of you when you're driving, <laughs> I, I can't stand you. it. I can't stand it. But when I'm walking, it's fine. I'll, I'll do it anytime. I Double feel standard. like, well, as a pedestrian, when I'm a pedestrian, I think the zebra crossing is for me. If I'm there, yeah. you should relax. <laughs> True. Well, how but about when you're driving? <laughs> when I'm driving, you better hurry up and get across oh, the road yeah. or slow down. Because <laughs> especially in manual. I don't want to be like going all the way back down first and risking stalling. Mm. Because you're taking... It's embarrassing your for both of us. Uh, that's, why, <laughs> that's why I see with I don't do manual. <laughs> manual is just extra stress. Why are you putting why are you putting yourself in that? Because Change. it's by the end of the day I feel I feel I feel really good when I drive a manual car. That's great. <laughs> I feel like you. I'm in like I feel so fast relaxed and furious when <laughs> I drive automatic. Because you're not driving. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually just cruising. Okay, really. but okay, but who's complaining? We're both getting to the same place. Not me. I'm not complaining. Who's pointing something out? We're both getting to the same place. <laughs> Everyone always says that manual is like a good life skill, but I, aren't manual cars going out of? Exactly. Use? So why yeah. are you driving manual then? No, because isn't it like when you do manual, you can do both or something? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm everyone, by the way. Okay. I think yeah. manual is a good life skill. <laughs> okay. I'd, Say you go abroad. Have to be one I don't have. Sorry. You want to rent a car, Facts. you know, road trip, and they only have manual. You're gonna walk. Everyone always, hike. okay, okay. Everyone always, that's a pet peeve. That's a pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pet peeve. Whenever I say I drive automatic and only automatic, everybody always comes up with these scenarios. ridiculous <laughs> hypothetical um, scenarios of, oh, what if you get stranded somewhere <laughs> and have to walk or what? No, I'm not, I'm just not driving manual. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry to say it. It's that's just stubbornness. Not well, I've already <laughs> learned. Well, that was you trying to get a rise out of her as well. <laughs> well, mm. question. Do you think you're a patient person? Do you think you're patient people? Well, I've got no pet peeves. Mm. Uh, no, I'm not as I patient as I should be. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think so. Do you think anything has taught you to be patient or brought out the patience <laughs> deep within you? Why? Why? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> thinking my, I'm thinking my, <laughs> my siblings. I was thinking of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I was, you, when you said yes, I said, okay. Hmm. No, no, <laughs> no but it, it's different. Okay, in it's case you didn't know, other people. in case you didn't know, there are two sets of siblings here. So we'll actually know what the truth is, because there's someone <laughs> to confirm how they actually are at home. Nothing tests your patience like a younger sibling, and that's just a fact. Amen. Wait, or <laughs> older sibling, to be Stop. honest. <laughs> or older yeah, sibling, right. because older siblings... Because they're older, will treat you anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of people I think acting. I think that's false, personally. Me too. I think that's they're false. older siblings, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and that's older why siblings, older siblings. With no, there's no older. You're the first. Yeah, I am the that's first. We're exactly. both the first. Exactly. So you d you don't know how it is. Okay, sorry. Youngers. <laughs> You're not sorry, there, sorry. are you? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I would say that I'm quite patient. I think one thing that taught me patience was DOV. Did you do DOV? Yeah, I only did bronze though. Same. After that was that, more than I enough. Was not, I was not <laughs> doing any more. I knew I wasn't patient enough for silver because that was, that was so long. I, um, Wait, when in your patience. level did you do DOV? I did Eleven. mine in uh, year nine. Third oh, one. what? Oh. Well, oh, you may be lucky like me and have missed it. <laughs> missed yeah. the boat when completely. did I do mine? In year 10? Yeah, no, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna miss mine. You've missed it already. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, you're Did you want to do it? it? <laughs> I'll be honest, I enjoyed it, but not enough to do it again. I would do it again. The camping, the, the camping trip, I, I quite like that. Well, would you you go, would camp, would you but you wouldn't do DOV. No, the walk. Okay, and when you're doing it at the time, it's not fun. But looking back, See? in hindsight, <laughs> it's fun. It gives you fun. memories, but no, that <laughs> you're going to go through that again and be like, why on earth did I even say I enjoyed it the first <laughs> True. time? Because your memory actually only leaves you with the good parts. <laughs> Fair enough. It doesn't not, not the blisters that no. you get on no. your feet. No. no. The, one of our roots, um, by the time we had to walk it, it had overgrown. We were literally wading through thorns and thistles, like with our Where did you do DOV? In the wild. <laughs> That's <They> wild. <laughs> this sounds like the jungle. It I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mind it. Like, it literally was. 
it was like a just a countryside, you know, like the farms you have here. That's what I was doing here. Something like that, anyway. Just somewhere with not many buildings, not in the middle <laughs> of Bolivia. <laughs> <laughs> we went through like asparagus fields and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's where we sat contemplating: should we cool and get them to pick us up <laughs> because we've had enough? <laughs> we did it in like 38. I kid you not. It was that hot, hot summer. It was like 36 <gasps> degrees at oh, least. Neckerchiefs. Yeah. Electrolytes, which is the drink of the devil. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Electrolytes. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I didn't drink that. Um, I think, okay, think about patience. Yeah. I, remember, I remember doing DOV when me and another person in my group, we got separated from the rest of the group. And then everybody got chased by cows. Which was that interesting. Was. <laughs> I feel like everybody gets chased by cows on I TV, no? I cows are so angry. We just they are, literally they, you literally walk in front of them and then they start chasing you. It, no, it's, it's like you down. Yeah. They stand up and start, like if one starts moving, and then, then the it's rest three, of them, and ooh, before you know it, they're actually just ooh, That's scary. And then you're there, then you don't notice, they, you, they, you, know, you don't notice them walking towards you. Then you look, and you're like, oh, oh, these cows are moving towards. Okay, I'll, I'll maybe I'll move out of this place. <laughs> then they start running, and then you're like, God help me. What is Stumpy. going on? DAV taught me fence jumping, because that was a necessary yeah, that's life skill. There was no time to find a path. With, with weight on your back. With weight on your oh. back. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Have you ever felt like, so for example, in DAV, it you're with a group of your friends, group of your age mates, have you ever been in a conflict where you felt that people gang up on you for any reason? Or team up against you? For example, say if you're in DOV and you have the map and you're saying, let's go this way, and everyone's like, you're wrong. That's, that's quite a mild example, hmm. but just being teamed up against. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to put it simply, I think most people have, but um, I'm, I'm not much of a... I always say this to people, sometimes this is a joke, but really and true, I'm a bit of a pacifist. I'm not trying to confront everybody. I don't like conflict at all. But <laughs> when stuff like that happens and I'm seeing everyone rise up ready to take me, the first thing that... Take you. <laughs> exactly. Take you, wow. That's that sounds thing. so... As soon as you, as soon as you see, you, if you're arguing with one person, it's, it's fine. When there are two people, three people coming against you, all of a sudden it triggers your fight or flight. <laughs> in my, in my <laughs> head, yeah. it's like, okay, how, how am I getting out? I can take them all. I can take them all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, what I learned to do at times, because in school, most of the time when I have felt like that, well, it was either because we were arguing about football. <laughs> and if we're arguing about football, it uh, doesn't matter what I'm saying, I believe I'm correct. <laughs> if we're arguing about God as well, I mostly believe that I'm correct. So most of the time it was when I was arguing in favor of God or just like how I'm a Christian, how I can believe it. And then mm. people are coming up with all sorts of stuff or read like the God delusion or something, read Richard Dawkins. And I'm, I'm seeing these people come from every side. I'm like, okay, I'm not backing down. But as soon as I see that they're also not backing down <laughs> but not trying to like listen, because I'm listening to the thing so I know what to reply. Yeah. When I speak, I can see that they're not listening to me. They're just mm. preparing their next thing. When that's the case, I just... I just back down. Like, I'll talk to you another time. Fair we'll enough. have another chance. <laughs> that seems like a smart thing to do. I'm pretty g- agreeable. Like most, uh, yeah. Look at this perfect I, I'm candidate. Quite, I'm quite, I'm quite She's patient. No, no pet, pet peeves. peeves. <laughs> well, did anybody want to dispute <laughs> that? Or I mean, if I speak. I'm, I'm in big trouble. In trouble. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's speak. Let's speak. No, speak no, your no. truth. Speak your truth. This sounds like a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> Let me just keep to myself. Do you think you guys are confrontational people? At times. Obviously, Mr. Pacifist. You can, you <laughs> no. can sit this one out. If it comes to it. <laughs> if it gets heated, you can just come when, when it comes to it, I, I have, but. Do you want to give us an example? Fire um, in his belly. Yeah, um, so there was one time I was just talking about uh, God and stuff with my friends, and then there was one per- one or I can't remember, one or two people. They came up to me, and they were they were talking about oh um, because we just had RS, and then we were learning about how to prove God's existence. So they thought oh let's let's use this on him, let's use this as a 
let's try and uh, disprove God. So they were talking about, um, you know, Mackie's inconsistent triad. No, bro. Okay, okay. it's like um, <laughs> it's so at the top of the triad is like um, I think it's pain and suffering. So then there's um, omni, uh, there's benevolent, and then there's omnipotent. Uh, so it's like right, why okay. would an all-powerful God make power and suffering when He's all loving and stuff? So that's um, taking me back. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I just seen the grid. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I remember actually. In the in the textbook, uh, so they um, I don't really have an answer for that because I don't as in, I don't know how God like works beyond human understanding. So God Himself He works in mysterious ways, as we've heard. So when when you kind of say that, it's it's a different it's different to what we would understand as like human physics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So an all-powerful God and an all-loving God can still create pain and suffering because that's how he works. And mm-hmm. God works in our lives. He works everywhere around us. So they were, they were just trying to say, um, oh, God can't exist because this is that. So I, I can't, I, I got a bit. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Ready. Hot under the corner. <laughs> I was... I was I was ready to, you know, throw, throw some metaphor- metaphorical <laughs> blows. Metaphorical, <laughs> okay. Uh, so I, at that point, I just kind of said, okay, I can't convince you, so I don't think you're going to convince me anyway. So let's just agree to disagree, mm-hmm. and then we'll leave it at that. Sometimes that's mm. the best way, though. Yeah. Mm. Especially when you can feel yourself getting... Well, Hot under the color, collar. Sorry, Collar. <laughs> the color. What does that mean? Excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm in Proverbs 15, and Proverbs 15 verse one says, "A gentle answer quiets anger, but a harsh one mm. stirs it up." So the Bible gives us advice for how to react and respond and simply act in those situations. If you can feel some heat coming, mm. just diffuse it. Just chuck that ice water <laughs> on there. Mm before it reaches you. Um, Also verse four says, kind words bring life, but cruel words crush your spirit. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're also the one giving kind words, you can be gentle and firm, just because they're being harsh or rude or abusive, you don't have to match. match. It doesn't have to be word for word in that sense. Mm. You know, beat them with your wit. (laughs) (laughs) Kill them with kindness. Isn't that what they say? No, that I think about it. No, no, no. Um, now that I think about it, I might be a little bit confrontational. There we go. But only verbally. Ah. But only verbally. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't wait, expecting some wait, Tyson Fury wait, wait, stuff. Were we talking about physically? Before? No, no, no. But I'm just clarifying verbally. I just don't like when people test my intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> that is fair That's enough. Cool. I don't like it. No. Like, no. I know I know something, and I've proved it to you, and you're still arguing with me. Why? Mm. <laughs> what else are you going to get out of this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I understand I, the pain, actually. And like you, like, I know I'm right, so why are you arguing with me? But I'll actually show there, you the proof. There is. They're, just, they're just staring. <laughs> That's us. Look at, look at these guys. Getting do, you see, do, you see, do you see the <laughs> correlation? Fun. Younger siblings are pot stirrers, and the older ones are, are usually the ones that are right. Oh, and just a little bit of drama. Just, uh, <laughs> not here for that. Not here for that. Now, I think I'm only confrontational when the situation calls for it. If I can avoid it, I will. Yeah. But if you're bringing it here... <laughs> Then you brought it, so <laughs> we have to continue. In in like the it's sports true. field, how how do we deal with that? Because that's one place where I feel like people are are ready to be confrontational, as if there are no <laughs> <laughs> as if there are no consequences. It feels like a different world sometimes. <laughs> My gosh! <laughs> so like, they say netball's story. not a contact sport, but it's a contact. <laughs> it, oh, it is! It is. Is it even a sport? <laughs> um, that's not getting to that. Um, that was unnecessary. Mm, Honestly, it wasn't right that was at all. <laughs> No, I think with with the like the kids with the players, that will be handled on the field. Mm. If a ref starts getting a bit testy with me, that really annoys me, because you're an adult <laughs> and you're actually in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, why you know are you think? beefing me? We're not. There's like ten years yeah. age difference. Calm down. <laughs> All those biased coaches who 
um, they don't want to see me win it. <laughs> like when your team is winning, then they pull up everything that they're making up new rules as they go along. Not new rules. Oh, yeah. I've I've had that. I've had the ref thing happen to me because Time. we had. Um, so we were. I think it was five five one up uh, against another team. And Comfortable. Our, our thing. Um, our Latin teacher was refereeing, so he said. So um, we blatantly won a penalty. So he and then he said. Oh no no it's fine. You guys are you guys are too far ahead. Uh, you don't need the pen. Okay. What? You don't need the pen. <laughs> what? Every, every, Who asked? Everyone, sur- everyone surrounded him, and, and, they, and they were like, "Why? No, we need this pen." Uh, because someone someone wanted to score their hat trick, so it's, ob- it's obvious everyone uh, the team wants that. So the next Latin lesson was silent. <laughs> Everyone. You don't need these students. <laughs> you don't need our ideas. It was your teacher. Was yeah. Teacher. yeah. No, that's, what on earth? I, those ones who are trying too hard to be like no. fair and then it just pushes it the other way. I don't really like that everyone's a winner attitude. But that's just me. You're <laughs> I like, sometimes, I don't know if you've ever been in a match where you're winning so much that your coach just like, Let's okay, use this as a training down. session. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's use this as a training session. If you're defence, you can play forward. If you're goalie, you can play oh, forward. Oh, everybody <laughs> switch. Everybody switch. Yeah, okay. That's I what I prefer. Goal one time. Me, in small goal. me. I got put in goal. We were winning seven 0 Ended seven two. When when did the two happen? Was it when you? Sometime were in between the when they put me in and the end. Okay, <laughs> figured, figured. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's brilliant. I definitely think that sport brings out, I'm not going to say the worst in me, but that's when my emotions are highest. Yeah, mm. facts. If it's just so friends, intense. Yes. When your friends are on the field, we're enemies. <laughs> <laughs> if, we're, if it's a training game and we're on opposite sides, we are not friends at that yeah. point. No, it's like Until if you trip me game. up, I'm tripping you up. <laughs> we can shake hands at the end. <laughs> but we're leaving it all on the pitch. Fair enough. Good attitude. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, yeah. I see no issue with that. I, I play to win. That's mm-hmm. that's all I'm gonna say. I play to win. <laughs> not there to sell ground nut, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, not everyone can be a winner all yeah. the time. It's true. But we are winners with Jesus. Nice time. Save that one. Okay, along those lines. How do you feel when someone tries to get you to do something you don't want to do? Ooh. <laughs> I'll give you another PG example if you, when, while you have a think. Um, sometimes, actually, I'm going to twist this slightly. Sometimes you'll be about to do something. For example, I'll be in my house about to wash. I can see what Out of the going. goodness of my own heart. And then I'll hear someone say, don't forget to wash. <laughs> I don't want to wash anymore. Yeah, I know. I understand. I understand. That's very immature, but that's definitely what <laughs> yeah. goes through my mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like you literally saw me. With or, the or the like, soap. don't forget to clean the plates. But I was just about was, to do it. Like, they were here next to me. What do you think they were here for? <laughs> why, why do you think I was standing next to the plates? And now I don't want to do it. So now I'm not going to do it. Just, no, it's mm. not as fun. It's no, not it's as fun. fun. Now it's a chore. Before, exactly. before I, I was, was just, I would have enjoyed cleaning, it. You know what? You know what? Cleaning is actually fun. I like it. I don't mind doing it on my own time. But well, it's just when somebody else... If you're making me... Mm-hmm. That's different. Oh, That's wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. How do we relate it to God telling us to do something? Mm. Go on. I mean, if God tells me to do something, who am I? Who am I? Yeah, you and God are on exactly. the same level. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, but you're yeah. not God. <laughs> okay. So if we had something in mind to do before, which is contrary to what God wants us to do, how do we respond to God mm. then telling us, you're wrong, do this? Okay, it's still hard. I'm not going to lie. Like, do it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah, you it's, forget that it's, it's God. easy to you say, have to though. Swallow, yeah. like, swallow your pride, swallow whatever mm. you're feeling. Just say, God, fi- like, fine. <laughs> like, okay. I think, I think it's easier said than done. hundred percent. So much easier said like. Because we're so used to having our own plans in mm. place. Like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to, you know, like, have this, like, plan set out. But, and then when God completely derails those plans 
And he's like, no, do it my way. And I'm like, but I had this perfectly planned out down to the detail. And now you're telling me to scrap it. But there's a reason why he's telling you to do that. Because it's probably yeah, exactly. likely that yeah. your plan wouldn't work or anyway. your plan is not going to bring out what's best for you. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and, it's, and you know that in the back of your mind. But there's also this part of you, as you said, pride. That's just like, oh, but I, I thought this plan was good. Yeah. So I yeah, it is, it is hard. Proverbs 16 verse 1 says, The preparations of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Mm. Another version says, it's God who has the final say. I feel like we should just call this the Proverbs series. Why yeah. Honestly, not? Yeah. <laughs> why not? Because Proverbs has so many wise words. So it's and wise words with Solomon about. now. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to... It's hard to change your course to something completely different when you feel that you're in, that you're in the right. It, it, you know, pride is something that comes, you don't notice it's there until it's staring you in the face. Because it's hard to, to change. Like you said, when you said, you both said, when I know I'm right, I, shush. <laughs> 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 because I know, and it's, that is a bit of pride. Mm. I'm not saying that you're wrong, but, but yeah, it is, it is pride. But it is a bit of pride. And like Toby, he said, we'll just agree to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> and then everyone's. We up. we have another scripture as well, Proverbs 19:21. Um, there are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel will stand. that will stand. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's that sums up kind of what we were saying really well. Also, I have a question. Do, is there, do you think there's a good type of pride? <laughs> Let your boasting be, if you're going to boast, boast in God. Yeah. That's the pride I have. My pride is that I have God. <laughs> How about proud parents? Oh, Toby, I'm so proud of you. Oh, that's, that's yeah, good that's pride. That's not that's pride. Or, or pride. being proud that's of like yourself. Proud of your something. achievements. Proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. That was the question. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> being proud of yourself is obviously good, but like... You have to know how you got there. It's not in your... No one's self-made. Remember, okay, we were learning yeah. in, in the Sunday Bible studies. So, I mean, the fact that you got there is also, again, testament to God. So even just being proud in yourself is boasting in God's glory and in, in how he's manifested that in you. There's a difference between, I would say, pride of yourself and pride in yourself. Being proud of yourself okay. and being proud in yourself. In, okay, I see. Because you can say, because I think you can be proud of your accomplishments, like you said, as long as you acknowledge that it's because of God, not proud of yourself because I'm self made, mm. I'm independent, I did this, that, and the other, and that's why I'm here today. You're not that mm. guy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that guy. So boast in the Lord and be happy. That's why we have testimonies as well, because that gives, that gives glory to God for what He's done, mm. but it also shows that you're happy with where you are now, mm -hmm. without it mm. being so about contentment. you. Yeah. Contentment, mm. what I would say? Godliness with contentment is great game. It's a great game, mm. Mm. indeed, indeed, indeed. Have you ever held a grudge against someone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that experience like for you? It, it never works out for you, in the end. Mm. <laughs> that, that was what I was about to say. Like, um, you, you hold on to it, say, I'm gonna get put this person back by doing this, 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 <laughs> and then maybe I just finish them off if then finish them <laughs> off. <laughs> finish no, them off. Like wow. The but, like, there in the <laughs> but obviously it it never works out for you. You're always you're just holding on. They've probably forgotten what they've even done to you. Mm. Mm. They, but sometimes that's the worst one. Because well, when you're sitting there and you're stewing, you're you're just so angry mm. and they don't even know why. Oh yeah, they don't even realize what they've done. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one, uh, that one is. That, that just makes you realize how silly the grudge was, though. To me, because it must have been a passing comment or something. Yeah, I, I mm. went up to the person that um, hurt me one time, and then they. No, and then um, I went up to them, and then I confronted them, and then they said, oh, "What are you talking about?" And at that point, I was, I just stood there like. Felt silly. Yeah. <laughs> I just did that. Like, <laughs> it was uh, all a dream. Because I, I don't know how, to, I don't know how to go. Oh, you did this to me, so I, I just went. 
I'll, I'll <laughs> just beginning. leave now. Mm. Yeah, that, that's, that's good of you, though. That's big of you to not make a problem Take out of off. something that wasn't a problem. Thank you. You're very welcome. Keep <laughs> up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's one thing I've always said to myself. It's like, no point in holding grudges. <laughs> like, especially, especially in secondary school. I don't know why that's so specific, but it's like in secondary school. Because you're going to leave. Yeah. True. You're going to leave one you day. You just forever. A lot of these people, you're never going to see them again. That's a big thing. You're like, you're not going to see them thing. again. Like, maybe you'll see, maybe see them on the street if you live in the same area. But after not that, you're not, you're not really going to yeah. see them after that. So it's, I feel like it's just pointless holding mm-hmm. grudges against people. Especially if you're in a temporary situation. Mm. Because things are always going to move on. Things are always going to change. Like... Why? Why? It it doesn't hurt. It hurts you more than it hurts them. A, mm. B. It it's actually tiring. Like mm. it's time consuming. Mm-hmm. Thinking about it, and it's it's pointless, really. I think it limits you. It limits you from peace and it limits you from joy. Mm. While the other person is thriving, you're just like stewing in a <laughs> in your dungeon, plotting like, your revenge, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just really not worth it. Yeah, I think there was one girl. In my, in my year. Names? <laughs> Names? No, 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 no. <laughs> About the young children being post <laughs> I'm not going to tell the story anymore. <laughs> let's just keep it safe. But don't be petty. And um, yeah. That was moral of the story. <laughs> That's moral of the story. <laughs> no need. Um, yeah, I think that would, we've done pretty well, I think, this evening. Mm. We've spoken about quite a lot. And we've included God. So give yourselves a pat on the back. <laughs> Um, that brings us to the end of our segment. What do you think we should take away from this from this session? Fruits of the spirit: love, Ooh. joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Sing it for us. The fruit of the spirit: gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Because against us, there such is there no is law. law. Such <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> he was supposed to join in his sister in law. You threw me off in the first place. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the fruits of the Spirit. Galatians 5, verse 22, verses 22 to 23. So read those, learn them, pray about them, and ask God to give them, grant them to you every day, because you need you all of them, need them. <laughs> every day. 100%. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending your time listening to us. God bless you. Have a good week. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. <laughs>